this should be used as a springboard for bigger and better things. An Kiathavong expects Fed Cup success to lead to bright summer for Team An Kiathavong captain Britain to Fed Cup promotion to the World Group. Kiathavong hopes the 3 2 1 victory will inspire her players to success this summer. Katie Boodler and Johanna Kanta were stars of the show during the victory by Eleanor Crooks, Press Association Sport Tennis Correspondent published, 1459 British Summer Time, the 22nd of April 2019, updated, 1516 British Summer Time, the 22nd of April 2019 and Kiathivong hopes Great Britain's Fed Cup success can be the springboard for a good summer ahead for the country's leading women. A 3-1 victory over Kazakhstan at London's Copper Box earned Britain promotion to the world group of the competition for the first time since 1993, after a succession of away ties, Kiathivong's side were finally able to enjoy some of the noisy home support afforded to the Davis Cup team in their climb up the ladder and they thrived in the environment. Great Britain are in the world group of the competition for the first time since 1993 Johanna Conta claimed comeback victories over Serena Diaz and Yulia Putintseva, while Katie Boulter secured the winning point against Diaz having come agonizingly close to beating 38th-ranked Putintseva on Saturday. Captain Kiathe Vong said, Joe always performs when it comes to Fed Cup and, with the weight of expectation and pressure, she always finds a way. How she does it, I'm in awe of her. And Katie as well, this should be used as a springboard for bigger and better things for all the players. For British women's tennis it's great that we have the strength and depth and I think they need to use it in a positive way. Several of Great Britain's Davis Cup winners went on to individual success after the 2015 win players like Dan Evans, James Ward, Kyle Edmund and even Andy Murray have all seen a boost in their individual careers from Davis Cup success, and the challenge for Kanta and Bolter in particular will be to show the sort of form they produced this weekend more consistently. Bolter only broke into the top 100 at the end of last season having won her first match as a wildcard at Wimbledon last summer, and showed with a fine debut win over Ekaterina Makarova at the Australian Open in January that she is a player who offers a lot. Tall and rangy, she possesses a competitive grit that should carry her much higher than her current ranking of 86. She won all four singles matches for Britain in Fed Cup in February but has not made much of a mark on the tour since, with a couple of bouts of illness not helping. The clay season is likely to be challenging but she will earn a spot at Wimbledon by virtue of her ranking and should be a dangerous opponent on grass. Johanna Conta continued her impressive Fed Cup record by helping Great Britain to victory. Conta has looked steadier this season after the difficulties of 2018 but her ranking is still languishing in the low 40s, way below her career high of 4, and she has struggled to string wins together. The 27-year-old should be applauded for trying to add variety to her game by throwing in drop shots and coming to the net but she does not have naturally soft hands and too often on court her tactics appear panicked. What cannot be disputed is Kanta's impressive record in Fed Cup, with Sunday's victory over Putin 7 her 11th in a row in singles. World number 1 Naomi Osaka was among her scalps in that run and the victory over Putin 7 was the latest contest she has won from behind, something she has struggled to do on the regular tour. I think it's a bit of a coincidence but also I am really doing well in embracing this environment and using it for what it is and what it brings to a competition, said Kanta. Katie Boulder came from behind to clinch the decisive victory for her country and the T. Heather Watson did not play a match this weekend but will hope to take the winning feeling on the road as she bids to end a miserable run of seven defeats in a row. Behind that trio, Kiath Ivong has promising options for the future in 22-year-old Harriet Dart and 20-year-old Katie Swan, who were both part of the team, as well as teenagers Jody Burridge and Emma Raducanu looking further ahead. Let's block ads. Why? 